Back in June of 2021, there was a recall on Philips brand Respiratronics CPAPs. That was a while ago. That was two years, four months, 14 days. Well, today in the in the mail, or I should say by FedEx, I finally got my replacement CPAP, which I find a little bit ironic because when the, C, when the uh, recall went out, they actually told you not to use your CPAP. That means I would have gone two years, four months, 14 days without a CPAP, and that is just nuts. So anyway, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what's inside. So, I've got two boxes and a bunch of papers. I'm sure one of these papers is probably the apology from Phillips here. Okay, so we have a return package perhaps. Oh, a bunch of stuff to download. Cleaning instructions, it looks like on this one. Uh, set up and return instructions. I guess they want my old CPAP. And information on my Philips Dream Station. Okay, so we're gonna go through here and an owner's manual. So this is my CPAP that was recalled with broken knob. So this is the one that had the sound insulation inside of the machine that started to slough off and I guess went into the airways and would go into your lungs and so, all sorts of things. So this is the recalled one and this is going to be the brand new one. So we're going to take a look at this and see what we got. Okay, so we have a hose and it looks like a, a cord AC adapter. And, okay, this is interesting. Okay, so this is, I imagine this is going to be the water reservoir for my CPAP and the adapter. And if you've seen my videos in the past, I don't use water in my CPAP. Too much of a hassle. And what I have been using, I've, I have uh, this little travel CPAP, little teeny thing that I've been using for the last couple of years. And this is the actual CPAP here with, I have no idea what this is. Pretty white color. Okay, so this is the new CPAP. Has a screen, a knob, on off buttons, and it looks like this thing will just go ahead and made up to this. So that snaps together. And let's see, somewhere in here is my cord. Now I have not read these instructions. Most of this is going to be intuitive, but I will read the instructions eventually, especially when it comes to setting the CPAP. Usually they don't, let, they don't give you the information on how to set your pressure. You kind of have to figure that out for yourself. Okay, so this is going to be a plug that goes into Ah, right down here. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. And we have something on the screen that comes on. My info, and of course the little knob will just end up look, rotating it. My provider, my setup, my info, my provider. Okay, so we have a setup. And this has the ramp, ramp time, 
tube type, that's interesting, uh, has a menu to check the mask if it fits properly. Oh, has Bluetooth clock and goes back to main menu. Okay, so we're going to have to figure how to set the air pressure. And of course, the hose will go into this thing here. Now, this thing has quite an interesting reservoir here. So it has you know, a little lift out reservoir you can put your water in. Here's your little heater right down here. That's uh, kind of interesting. If you don't want the reservoir to be with your system, there's this little gray button right here. You push that and the two separate just like that. Now, one other thing about this, there's a little door here and they have a whole new type of filter they call this a pollen filter, this little blue thing. So I guess I'm going to have to stock up on these itty bitty things. And then it has a little slot for the uh, micro card to record all your data. But the interesting thing about this, what I really like about it, is if you look at the power supply here. Okay, so here's the power supply, 12 volts. So it's not one of these power supplies that's kind of wacky with some kind of unusual voltage, which means I can take this camping and run it off a battery because it's a 12 volt system. So that's kind of a neat thing to do. Plus the size of this thing is really interesting. Well, if you take a look at this new dream station and compare it to my old one, of course, you know, my old one has a water supply, but look at the size of this. I mean, it's about half the size. Now, what I have been using in the past, this is my travel CPAP. And so if you take a look at that, you can see the sizes. This is quite big and cumbersome and trying to take this on an airplane and on check luggage has always been a hassle. That's why I went and got a travel CPAP. But with this new dream station, I mean, you take a look at this, I mean, the dream station is still twice the size, but it's smaller. I mean, this is really nice for checked luggage, but even this new dream station is a teeny tiny little thing. Not quite as small as my travel CPAP, but still it's much smaller than the big bulky unit I used to have. So with that, we're going to go through the menu and show you how you can uh, set your pressure or you can have your provider set it for you, but there is a, a ton of information and features on this new dream station. And it's gonna take a while to get used to all the things that this thing will do. To get into the menu selection, you press the ramp button at the same time as you push in the scroll button. Hold it for about five seconds. And there you have it. You're now into the programmable section of the CPAP machine. To go from one menu to another, simply turn the knob one direction or the other direction. When you pick a menu that you want to go into, just click the round button. Once you're in the advanced setup mode, you can go to therapy and pick what type of CPAP options you want. Under this first option, you can choose CPAP, auto, or regular CPAP. I prefer the regular CPAP. It also has information on a trial, easy start, and of course this is the most important is the amount of pressure. When I received my CPAP I had to adjust my own pressure. Currently my pressure is 10, but you can scroll down or you can scroll up depending on what your therapist or doctor has provided for you. There are, there are several menu options that this new CPAP has to offer. And it'll take me several weeks to probably get to know and experiment with each one to see which ones I want to choose. From the patient mode, you can go back into the standard mode. So far, I've really enjoyed my CPAP. I've had it for now for about a week, and I've enjoyed all these functions. But it will take some time to take a look at all the options that this CPAP has to offer took me a long time, over two years, to get my replacement CPAP from Philips. And now that I have, I have enjoyed my new CPAP quite a bit. I'd like to thank you for your time. Leave any comments below. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, please subscribe.